<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's my lot. I'm going to bring on my buddy Julio now. Thank you very much. Hello. My, my name is uh, Julio Julia. I am from Paraguay. I am uh, very, very famous in Paraguay for uh, many reasons. Uh, the, the first uh, reason is because uh, when I was just a, a young boy, I wrote my first song, and it was called The Most Beautiful Boy in Paraguay. <laughs> it is about me, of course, <laughs> not another man, as some people have suggested. Uh, another reason I am uh, very famous is because I invented a new note uh, that had uh, never been heard or sung before. And I would uh, very much like to, to sing it for you now. Uh, can you hold this for me? Sure, thank you. <coughs> But I cannot, for legal reason, uh, because it has uh, been proven to, to give every lady, and even some men who hear it, an orgasm. So for health and safety, we cannot allow the floors to be this way. Uh, so, to, to ask yourself, uh, Julio, you are so famous in Paraguay, why do you hear at an open mic in Westminster? And I will tell you a little of my story. Uh, one day I was in the house of my parents in Paraguay and I hear my father say to my mother uh, I am very worried about Julio, I have been for some time and my father said yes I think I, I know what you are going to say I've uh, watched him recently, he's wearing very tight trousers and he's uh, choosing moisturizer and my mother said yes I think we are thinking the, the same thing I think there is a possibility that uh, Julio is a bit of a twat <laughs> so they come to me and they say, Julio, we, we still love you, but we just do not like you very much. And uh, they ask for a divorce from me. And they take half of my money. The other half I cannot access until I have uh, 20 years old. I know I look much younger, uh, but I have exactly the same age as the little lesbian, Justin Bieber. Although I think if I meet Justin Bieber, she will not be a lesbian for so much longer. <laughs> <laughs> so I come to, to England and I think it would be nice to, to find a pretty girl to stay with. Uh, but there isn't any. And uh, the English girls, they, they wear the makeup of a clown and uh, they have many children when they are still very young and I do not want to be inside a girl like this. That would be the same as uh, throwing a chorizo up a motorway. <laughs> Speaking of chorizo, I miss the food at home very much. Uh, here is all junk. I ask where I can go to get food. Uh, they tell me there is a, a restaurant, the best of England. It is very famous, very good. It is a gastronomic delight. Uh, so, I go to McDonald's. <laughs> and it is uh, still bad. I have a happy meal, but it uh, makes me sad. <laughs> and I'm sitting in the middle of McDonald's, crying into to my nuggets. I think, what would my mother say if she could see me now? I think she would say, Que coño, callate. You can't shut up. And uh, slap me around the face. So I stop to cry, and I just die a little bit on the inside. And... Uh, this is uh, my story so far in England. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, I would very much like to return and perhaps sing this song with a special note, but you must need to get uh, many little yellow signs first. And uh, <laughs> when I sing for you, I think perhaps there will not be a dry eye or conio in the house. <laughs> so, thank you very much. I hope you have pleasure yourselves looking at me. I know I have. Buenos noches. Yeah.